Welcome, 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 one and all. It's episode four, ladies and gentlemen, of our little podcast, Who the Hell Needs Food? This is a show all about complete nutrition products, products that claim to provide all your body's nutrient requirements in a nice, handy, quick form. Uh, there may be brands you may have heard of, such as Huel, Soylence, Jimmy Joy, Y Food, Saturo, Dare, and many, many others. We take a regular dive into all things complete nutrition products. When I say we, of course, I'm always joined uh, by my good colleague, Eni. Um, so we'll always take a complete dive into all nutrition products and meal replacement products, what's new, what trends there are, what we think, uh, just generally what we think about it and all of those. I'm Clive Linden. I have a YouTube channel where I review meal replacement products, complete nutrition products, and I've been doing that for the last five years. And I have reviewed everything from shortcakes to the powders, to the drinks, to burgers, to gummies, um, all sorts of complete nutrition products uh, and just exploring the whole world. And of course, as I say, I am joined here by any. Hello, Clive. Uh, I'm sure we have plenty to talk about. I saw that you posted the new Y food uh, RT flavor, which I can't remember, but it tastes, I mean, it, it looked like it tastes amazing. Uh, so I'm sure we have time to talk about that. Uh, I'm Eni. I'm the owner of Latest Fuels and main editor of Latest Fuels, a site that talks everything about complete nutrition. All the products or most of the products that you can imagine are covered there in latestfuels.com. And yeah, as it's been a really good month for me because as we were talking previously, Clive, is New Year, New Me. And in January, meal replacements are the hot topic. Uh, the brands try to release new products in December to be ready for January. And we get I get I get a lot of requests from new brands to review. And we are we're gonna be talking about some they're not new brands, but pretty new to the scene later on, I think, as well, Clive. And yeah, I've been bombarded. I have tons of products that I've been trying and I will be trying, included all the Huel stuff, which it, it's been a while since I've tried it. And I even have the new RTDs, and it was my first try to the new 2.0 RTD that I know you reviewed on your uh, yep. thing. So, over there. So we can, oh, there you go. There you go. So yeah, we can have a chat about that and many more yep. things today. Excellent. So I'll say, yeah, so today we're going to be looking at all the new trends uh, uh, and all the different things. And one of the trends that we have been uh, noticing in the world of complete nutrition and meal replacement products, and that is the targeting of the gamers, of, of the gaming world, uh, previously a target of sort of energy drinks and things like that. But now there seems to be a real rush uh, towards mm -hmm. sort of the gaming market. So we'll be discussing that all later. But first, of course, we always like to sort of have a little conversation about what we've been consuming and trying and reviewing this week. So uh, I'll let Eni go first because Eni's been trying something only, what, half an hour ago you were doing something <laughs> the first time. Yeah. Uh, maybe you'd want to tell everybody what products you've been trying uh, most recently. Yeah, it was, uh, it was just... Uh... I just posted on Twitter, and uh, after I received my Huel stash, which includes Huel Black, the powder, Huel Ring of the powder, the new RTDs, but I also included the Hot and Savory, which I said that it was my product of the year for 2021. Yeah. And uh, but I hadn't tried the newest flavors. Uh, my US writer had tried some of them, but I hadn't tried some of the flavors. And for me, the biggest appeal, and I haven't felt this excitement in a long time, was for the Huel Mac and Cheese uh, Hot and Savory, which is uh, uh, instant, uh, well, it's the, you, you add the water to the mix, and in five minutes you have a Mac and Cheese, which is complete, nutritionally complete. It has more than 20 grams of protein, 24 grams of protein or something. It is fully plant-based, uh, so it's Mac and Cheese with a Z. Yeah, mac and Cheese, exactly, <laughs> with a Z. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, I had that. Uh, I think uh, the first time I tried, I think, so I don't have a kettle or a way to measure. And I think I should have done it maybe in the microwave. Yeah. And, uh, How did first, you do it then if you didn't have a kettle and you didn't put it in the microwave? I boiled some water. Oh, uh, old school. Yeah, old school. Yeah, exactly. Powerful. Uh, luckily, I have like a 
bit in vitro, so it just heats up the water really fast, no issues. Right. But and I added that. And at first, I think I put too little water, and I guess this might be an issue when you encounter it. And yeah. if you if you start using Hugo Fun Saber, because it comes in a seven mil bag, so it's not like a single pot. Anyways, yeah. I think it was I didn't put enough water, and one the pasta wasn't properly cooked, so it was still crunchy. Yeah. And also the sauce was too strong at the start. You know, I don't know whether you had this issue. I felt that the sauce was too strong, it's still too powdery. So I added a bit more water, put it in the mm. microwave to heat it up a little bit. And then the second try was a little better. Yeah. Uh, so I did have a comment. Good. So I did have a comment on my YouTube channel uh, under my mac and cheese review, and somebody said they really liked it, but they found it a bit crunchy. Um, I found uh, a nice combination of crunch because mac and cheese should have a bit of a, a, a crunch as though okay. you've put, the, for me, as though you've put the mac and cheese under the grill just to oh, finish it off. And that sometimes sort of hardens up the, the pasta a bit. So mm -hmm. um, it had that balance of softness and crunch. But I find with the uh, hot and savory range that, um, I don't know, so I think sometimes it works better in the microwave. But it is important that you get the, the measurements right. Yes. And That's it's right. important that you give the bag a good shake and uh, scrape from the bottom up, mm -hmm. as it were, because you've got a real, you've got large objects and then very tiny, thin powder objects. Uh, and of course, you know, naturally physics separates them. So you need to give the bag a good mix so that you're getting the right proportion of everything. Otherwise you'll either have too much powder or too much pasta. Um, that's the one thing about, about the hot and savory, uh, especially with the pasta elements with, um, with a yeah, normal meal that. replacement, it's all the same density, you know, it's all the same powder. So it's fine. You never go wrong. You know, you're getting exactly what you're meant to be getting, uh, -huh. uh with the hot and savory, um, not that it makes a massive difference, but, um, you know, you, um, you might have more of the sort of mineral and protein mix and, it's and also, less you of need the pasta. Think, and, yeah. You need to think that the powder is what it has the flavor, not the pasta itself. So yes. if you have too much of the powder, it could be overpowering. Like yeah. that's what I feel. I think I had the balance wasn't right the first time yeah. I tried it. Uh, I mean, the first, before I put it back into the microwave with a little bit more water, I felt too artificial straight away. Uh, whereas before, after I cooked it, like I put a bit more water, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and it was much better. It was all soft and everything. Did still, you, do, you, do you have a, did it come with a pot? No, I did not have the pot, unfortunately, right. which would have been very handy. Because uh, yeah, that's uh, got a nice pot, measuring. I was also trying the plenty pots, which I yeah. know you tried as well. And yes, they're, they're single serving, so they're more wasteful, but they had come with a very handy yes. line. Of, so you can pour the water the up shul, the line. Yeah, the shield pot. Perfect. Yeah, the Huel pot comes with that, oh, um, and the and it and it's they, they put the mark on the inside quite quite well. It's sort of perfectly lined up. Mm. So you pour it in, uh, <laughs> and then and then it expands a bit. But you you measure it to when you first pour it in, and then you let the things kind of mix and expand a bit. Mm -hmm. But it's it's that's what you really need to make sure that you're getting it um, bang on if you're using the the pot method, as it were. Yeah, so I would say overall, I, I think it's good. I think it's really good, and it's something definitely like I was. I said I I just finished my planning board review. It's just about to. I like, need to click publish or whatever, and I found it with the same with the savory. Uh, it's something that I can see myself having in the pantry, and I would recommend anyone having yeah. the pantry. It doesn't matter that you don't have it daily. They're not designed to have it daily, but you know, there's those days where, you know, you're really tired. You can't be if You just arrived home you realize there's nothing on the fridge and you're like, wow, what am I going to do now? And sometimes yeah. you don't fancy shape because it's cold. No, it's cold. And, yeah. This is just perfect. Like I, I arrived, boom, I have had a really busy day, boom, boom, boom. Maybe I do a double serving, depending, like sometimes the serving feel a bit small, like especially if it's dinner, if it's your main yeah. meal, I would increase the serving up, but I just heat the spot perfectly. It's on, warm, savory. And, on, yeah. their, on their advertising. Oh yeah, you know, obviously they dress it. <laughs> the bowl looks like it's two servings. Yeah, it's two servings. If, if we're going to be honest, I mean, it mm. looks really nice. It's not, you know, but you're right. My my daughter was sort of, uh, you know, was feeling a bit peckish and hungry, and said, "What have you got?" And you know, there was nothing in the fridge or anything like that. So, and she, you know, I went through everything. She said, "No, no, no." And I said, "Well, you could try my mac and cheese thing if you." Well, no, it was a chicken, the the chicken mushroom. mushroom. 
uh, and she really liked it. Um, so it served it served a purpose, yeah. As I said, I, I think it's not a home cooked home cooked meal, obviously. But no, if you go yeah. from a, like a perspective of oh, it's an instant meal, for an instant meal, it's tasty, yeah. super healthy, super fast. What else can you ask for it? And, that's you know, that's you what like it is. It's a, it's, pots, it's a, for example, it's a, yeah, it's an it instant work. meal. Exactly, it's a hot, warm, instant meal. <laughs> that's what you're getting, you know. Uh, so, but it's delivering your all your kind of uh, nutritional requirements in a in a handy form. So yeah. So it's been handpicked to to do so. So yeah, yeah exactly. So no, uh, I mean I, I wouldn't say it was as tasty as I expected or hoped for, but it was definitely good, and I'm really looking forward to try the, the all the rest of the flavors and keep yeah. using the Hugo Fan flavor for sure. Um, I got so uh, so Y Food uh, sent me the uh, creamy cookie. Oh, that's what it was. It's creamy cookie. Now I think. Um, so this is limited edition. So Y Food are always doing limited edition. Uh-huh. Uh, we have drinks. one every week here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every time. Um, now they, I think they launched this as like a Oreos or a cookie and cookies and cream. I think it was a cookies and cream, cream in Germany mm-hmm. or something like that last year. And uh, they actually, and this is going to come onto the subject we're talking about later. I think oh, it was okay. uh, aimed at gamers cookies cookies and cream and they mm-hmm. aimed it at gamers i'm sure they did but it was only available in germany and um so i asked them and they said no it's just limited edition in germany and then yeah a few weeks ago they contacted me and said you know you were interested in that uh cookies and cream thing mm-hmm. well we're calling it something slightly different creamy cookie uh and it's not sort of targeted at gamers but we're releasing it here so um they sent me some, and uh, I have to say, as with a lot of white food <laughs> products, uh, especially the ready to drinks, it mm-hmm. is absolutely uh, delicious. Um, um, but interestingly enough, I made a little bit of a discovery. Okay. Um, and and uh, and we're going to come to it later, but because it, um, it was another product I was trying, which I'll come to later, and I was just looking at the carbohydrate uh, makeup. Uh, and it said, so on here, you've got your carbohydrates, um, 36 mils, basically 36 grams, 36 grams, which is in the right proportion for the sort of, uh, macro breakdown. Um, but then it says, so that's 36 grams. And then it says of which sugars, 22 grams. So what are you going to hear? So the amount of uh, carbs, which are sugars, is is really high in these. And I'd not really noticed it before because I'd not stopped. It was another product that that had a similar high uh, content. Now, what I think it is, is because it's because then I looked at all my other products and they're like, you know, in comparison of sugars, they're like one gram, two grams. It's worth so you, saying that meal replacements are really low in sugar usually. Yeah, yeah. So it's more, it's more, the, it's less sort of less the sugar, but the more this of which the carbohydrates are sugars, mm-hmm. but uh, the and you want that proportion to sort of be low. But I think I think what it is is because this is very much and what makes it taste so nice, um, it's it's semi skim milk. It's you're exactly right. All of that sugar is naturally occurring yeah. sugar in milk and that's, lactose. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they add lactase, you know, so that that drink is lactose free because lactase breaks down the lactose that is in the on the drink itself. So that's a lactose free. Yeah, these milk. are lactose free drinks. Yeah, but that that because it has milk, it has the same. If you look at milk and if you take yeah. probably like four hundred milliliters of milk or five hundred milliliters of milk, you will see that the amount of sugar is exactly that. So yeah. it, it's but not that they take a spoon of sugar. Yeah. It's just yeah. the naturally occurring sugar. Just like when you put fruit in a in a drink or a smoothie, yeah. you would say it would be really high in sugar because really fruits are high in fructose. Sugar uh, is the same. But you're getting all the benefits of of milk. Uh, yeah. So that's the sort of the, that's the payoff. But it was just it was just it just I'd never noticed it, and especially when you're having the vegan type products, the uh, oat, yeah. you know, the oat and the pea protein type, where the products mm-hmm. that get there protein from sort of peas and rice Mm -hmm. and stuff like that then obviously it's it's really low and when i compared it with the vegan version Mm -hmm. obviously yeah it was it was really low so there's no added sugar 
exactly. uh, in here. Uh, it's just that the sugars in within the carbohydrate mix are derived 99% from the fact that this is a milk product. Uh, so exactly. it, it, at first alarm bells went and then and uh -huh. then secondly i kind of thought oh it's not it's not so bad because of that and there's a lot of the benefits of milk i think balance it off personally i mean me. yeah because otherwise and like it fills you it, out as well milk so it's yeah. quite yeah if it was like a whey protein or milk protein because those milk protein are separated for the carbohydrates then obviously yeah. milk protein and whey protein they don't have any sugars because they've been separated from the carbohydrates but this is they just add milk so this is semi-skimmed milk yeah exactly exactly and they then add milk, then, and then, then water they add the rest of the things. that's it semi-skimmed milk then uh -huh. water and then milk protein so yeah that's what's that's what's driving it but that's also exactly. what makes it taste so blooming nice and delicious and silky uh -huh. and, um, and if you're if you're not consuming much sugar uh in the uk yeah. i think for an adult is nine uh 90 grams of sugar a day uh, so you have still a, you still have a big margin on yeah you know, that's like twenty percent twenty two percent of the your twenty five percent maybe of your twenty twenty five percent yeah it's twenty five percent yeah um, so, that's probably accounts for my belly won't go away <laughs> I love milk <laughs> well I have I have oat milk in all my um, lattes and things like that um, mm -hmm. yeah to try and balance that off but I do like a sneaky chocolate bar now and then so. Uh, there you go. So, have you now? So, the other Huel stuff that you've you've got is the ready, the new ready to drink. Have you tried any of that yet? I've uh, I had this one this morning, the iced coffee caramel. Okay. And I must yeah. say, it was a godsend. It was. I, I had it in the fridge. Yeah, I took it out. Cool. And I found it compared to the previous stuff. This hit the spot much much better. It was yeah. much sweeter. It had that mocha with the caramel point that i found really really tasty it has a it's not greetiness but you can kind of like it's always in the shield pro there's just a slight and they're ready to drink there's mm -hmm. just a a slight something uh at the end almost uh Is it, so it's they almost haven't if you quite to milled it, it. yeah mm -hmm. they haven't quite milled the last the last little bit um for me it wasn't an issue uh no. i like the consistency it was like a more like it's like yeah. a more consistent it's like a thicker uh, back to creamy as well yeah so i think this one hits the spot i'm really really now looking forward to try all the 2.0s salted so yeah. caramel strawberry and cream um they they've grown on me since i first tested them i'll be honest with you i i i, I think i enjoy them more now than when i first i first tested them out um and my son really loves the strawberry one oh, okay. um and uh you know grabs it now he's sort of not eating his school dinners because he just <laughs> like like them and so i can't send him to school without anything but he'll take that at least i know uh you know yeah, he's it's... getting stuff inside him and it's got all the nutrients and requirements and everything like just, that but he, yeah. he loves it he also happens to uh love this as well but uh oh of course <laughs> uh, yeah yeah um, but then you but, know yeah, as we spoke is you know 400 calories 20 grams of protein yeah. Um, you know, four four grams of sugar. So this one actually, I think, does have some sugar. I added. think they've got sort of coconut sugar in coconut there. Coconut sugar, there you go. Yeah, coconut yeah. sugar. But that's yeah. to balance off, I think, the the sweetener a bit. Because mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we've we've leveled at Huel. I have leveled at Huel that they have an issue with their uh, sweetener. Sometimes I always found it a bit of an issue for me personally, a bit too much of an ask to taste. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I think they get the balance. Um, right in these version 2.0s um, i mean i've said i've said previously i don't recommend the 1.0 i can feel yeah. safe saying i recommend this one yeah i think if you're looking for a bigger one this is now a, whereas before i'll be like yeah sorry it's not it's not good enough i, I feel i feel pretty confident saying yeah this yeah. this one's good enough this one you're gonna like it and there's, uh, a, there's something for everyone there as well they've got it's you're not it used to be just like vanilla or mm -hmm. chocolate or banana and that was it but now um they've got a nice selection so uh you know you might not like the you know iced coffee caramel whatever uh but you you might like the strawberry or the salted caramel or you know there's a nice variety there to um and also just to also mix up your choices if you're you know having them on a regular basis uh, i think which is really really good really refreshing yeah for sure 
Um, so I just on the other, other products I've been testing, and we'll come to it, and I still haven't done my review of it, um, is we're going to be talking about this later, but uh, this is from My Protein, and this mm -hmm. uh, is called Command Self Revive. And uh, as you can imagine, just looking at the, the branding there, it's aimed at um, gamers. Uh, and we're going to be talking about this in, in more detail, this kind of marketing towards gamers. But I tried this this evening. Um, and I have a few things about it, which we will expand. But from a taste wise, well, it's actually this that triggered my curiosity about the carbohydrate I balance. I because uh, I looked at this because I'm so used because most of the products I have are sort of oat based and stuff like that, um, apart from the Y food. Um, the carb, the, the carbohydrates of which are sugars are always quite low. So again, I was sort of surprised here, um, 37 grams of carbohydrates of which sugars, 25 grams. Uh, and I kind of thought, well, that seems really, really high. And then I looked at the Y food and I thought, well, maybe not. But again, here, the ingredients, uh, is skimmed milk powder. And then water, so effectively it makes milk. So that's that's where it's derived, um, and probably a little bit of the chocolate biscuit crumbs that they've sprinkled in there somehow. Um, but um, but taste wise, really nice. Again, <laughs> you, because because of the they're using milk powder, uh, so it effectively turns into a sort of a nice chocolate cookie milk um you know uh, more skimmed than semi-skimmed milk uh in its texture but it has the smoothness of, of of milk but as i say more of a skimmed milk so slightly thinner uh but really uh really nice and sweet and tasty and you could sort of see you know it's why well, it's going to be perfectly sort of perfectly aimed at uh gamers and stuff like that mm -hmm. so yeah uh i tried that this evening um as well have you tried anything else recently no as i said i was also trying the plenty pot and uh, the review is going to be live tomorrow but basically same similar to the hueco and savory uh these ones are i think they're more they're more pasta I mean, pasta rice rice yeah. uh, they're a bit more similar to each other i think you has more variety yeah. i did enjoy the uh single serving aspect in terms of i, I had the boil the water and then i put in another cup or i eat it from here and this is like rinse of water it washes perfectly and you know throw it to the cycle bin so in that regard i thought you know they were pretty handy and yeah i quite enjoy all of them to be honest uh, i think some of them might be slightly too they're all very all the flavors are very spiced up not hot yeah but they have a lot of spices yeah. so if you're not a big fan of a spiced food and you're used to more like black it's, it's black pepper is the most that you can take uh, I don't think you'll like. Yeah, I, don't think I think be there's a lot of black pepper. I think, I mean, I think they use the pepper and the spice almost to sort of yeah, it's try to too... over taste it in a bit, you know, over flavor it to a certain, uh, certain degree. And you, you get that with some, some other products. Uh, but yeah, I almost forgot actually the, there was, I was thinking there was another big product, another product I tested, uh, and I couldn't remember what it was. And it's just, I've just read my notes and I've just remembered abnormal, abnormal of course, as sponsors from last week. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that abnormal. So I tried the abnormal range, uh, which is a very different take altogether. If you've not seen my review, it's live on the YouTube channel now, uh, a very different take. Um, well, not, not just a different approach. Um, so there you fill out a questionnaire online and it asks you about, you know, do you get enough sleep? How much sunlight do you get? How much exercise do you do? Do you do any cardio exercise? Do you eat your greens? You know, uh, do you feel tired at certain days? All these sort of the whole lifestyle and food and healthy, just basically your whole lifestyle. And then they're kind of, they claim their algorithms go away and then come up with the perfect uh, mix of food for you in terms of the powders and they come in individual each pat all the powders come in individual sachets mm -hmm. uh, and a variety of flavors caramel latte um things like that uh, vanilla vanilla cream vanilla chocolate swirl yeah chocolate swirl, swirl yep. so they're not just called strawberry vanilla 
they're mm-hmm. they're a sort of cake type name, mm-hmm. you know, or pastry. And I tell you what, again, the taste is really nice. It tastes like a chocolate swirl. Mm-hmm. It tasted like uh, vanilla cream. It didn't taste like vanilla. It tasted like a vanillary biscuit of some sort. I think they have a cookies and creamy one as well. I think something like that. Um, but it 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 really had a nice uh, taste. Um, to what degree it's fundamentally different from everybody else? Because everybody's everybody else is going to be different. I did get some comments say I found it a bit, you know uh not you know uh not as smooth whatever and i said well did Mm -hmm. you go for the vegan option because you can obviously choose choose when you've got uh, allergies uh you know lactose intolerant whether you like milk dairy whatever those and obviously i went for the dairy option okay (laughs) uh and and obviously that they're getting their protein from whey that has an element of the sort of milk powder in there and the whey protein uh and i think that really always helps with the the smoothness of the right. of mm-hmm. the product, um, so it was just interesting. It's very hard to everybody's experience will be slightly different. I mm-hmm. think the proportions and everything are roughly roughly the same. They'll just tweak certain things, and then they give you a little booklet. Yeah, the booklet it breaks nice. down, and it said, uh, and it, it breaks down all the main sort of ingredients or nutrients, and then it says, oh, you mentioned you didn't get out much. Uh, you need vitamin D, you know, you didn't get much sunlight, you need vitamin D or you're not sleeping. So we added some sort of uh, extra energy stuff here, or whatever to, make, you know, revive you and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's just, just really interesting. And as I say, it comes each serving uh, is an in- individual sachet. You just add your 300 mils of water, drop in the sachet, give it a mix or a blitz as I do. And, and there you go. So um, yeah, it was very, very interesting. Well worth uh, checking out because the great thing, and you can always change your uh, questionnaire whenever you want. Yeah. Uh, so if you feel like a change, you feel like you want to go a bit vegan, you can go back, uh, redo your questionnaire, mm-hmm. change a few things around. If your lifestyle changes a bit, then you can alter it and they'll hopefully deliver you a slightly uh, different mix of, of, of stuff. But yeah, very, very good. No, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I repeat the, yeah, I agree. It's a, uh, it's good that you have different options. You can easily change this. Uh, you can easily change it when if you feel like a diet change. You can change the requirements doing the questionnaire again. It's sure the questionnaire might feel a bit intrusive. There's some questions where you're not sure where it goes. They're not very transparent on how the algorithm works. So yeah. it's basically you trusting them, knowing what's best for you. So you don't you lose that option you do have the option to choose but at the same time you lose the option to okay let me look at the links to the ingredients yeah. and i want this ingredient this ingredient this yeah. ingredient it's not like it's you not, have yeah that. it's not a shopping list like that you're you are you're absolutely right you're sort of you if you, you need to be honest in your lifestyle and then you're you're absolutely trusting their algorithm to put together the ingredients in the right proportions that are going to suit suit you rather than you actually pick precisely i want more protein or what you know and things like that um yeah which uh, okay good stuff yeah this is only available in the uk by the way I think yeah it is a... that's right yeah some people on my on my review have sort of said it was in the us and they've confirmed it's only in the uk at the moment uh-huh. okay so what news and new products or deals are there and, and stuff like that do you want to go through any of the exciting news and new products on the horizon well uh i'll i'll also, I'll start with the price increase. I think we touched on the price increase of fuel yeah. uh, in the previous episode. And if it was in the previous episode, it was in the second episode. They announced that in December, for the first time in a while, they were going to increase in price. Um, I think some people made some uh, calculations. It's around 14% across the range. So when you think about it, 14% is quite significant. That said, I think the baguette I buy has increased. 50% in like the last three years. So, you know, and you know, the reason in the, the reason in Hugh gave behind this is, well, we haven't increased the prices in a, in a long time. Uh, Everything is getting more expensive and we simply cannot keep up with, with the current prices, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it's fair enough. It, it, it's a bit sad because I think a lot of people would imagine is the more mainstream we get, uh, the more efficient they're going to be making this. Yeah, Therefore, the prices are going to go yeah. down. More competitive uh, it gets as well, you'd think, you know. 
mm-hmm. um, you know, the price will come down. But the price, in fairness, the price of everything, everything yeah. is going up. So, you know, maybe so, it's a reflection of that because they're not the only ones, are they? Exactly. So what happened is in there was a post uh, in Reddit and obviously it was sending it to their own post, Jimmy Joy, which is well known to be quite affordable, both in the yeah, US price. and in Europe. Uh, yeah. I think in the US it, it starts at 175 and you know, it goes as low as 145 per meal, which is pretty, pretty good. Very good. What they offer is really, really good. In Europe it's even cheaper than that. Uh, yeah, they were they just made a post in Reddit saying, you know, we also increasing the prices. And they said, you know, oats have increased 32%. Logistics has increased 20%. I, 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 these are not the exact numbers, but, you know, they were yeah. roughly between 20 and 30% increase in prime ingredients and logistics, so like oats, yeah. uh, protein source, oil source, and uh, also the uh, shipping and logistics, which has been a nightmare uh, all across the globe with the pandemic even more. Uh, so, yeah, I think I, I might have mentioned that this price uh, price increases were going to keep happening and uh, I think Huel did it last year, Huel did it at the end of last year, Jimmy Joy is doing it now and I will not be surprised to see a few more price increases in the near future if you know the the global situation doesn't change, yeah. there's inflation happening as well which it needs to be accounted for and um, yeah it's, not, it's, 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 it's sad because obviously for some people this is like their cheap way to get a meal or whatever so yeah. I won't, I won't people to have that affordable alternative. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be keep happening, yeah. unfortunately. So that's yeah. the sad, sad news, I guess. Yeah. Um, in terms of, uh, so I got, a, um, so Jimmy Joy contacted me and they've got a new flavor coming out. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what it is yet. I don't know either. Uh, so I will know in, a, in hopefully in a couple of days when it arrives. Uh, wow. They they keep bringing out new flavors all the time yeah, uh, on their um, plenty powders. Um, so yeah, it'd be more probably more of the same. You know, I, I always find that the with the plenty, I won't prejudge it, but I always find there's a very base oaty taste, and then a hint of whatever flavor it's meant to be, whether it's the passion fruit or the mango or whatever it is. On that's why I think, like the coconut one. I thought the coconut one did quite well on overpowering. Yeah. I think it oh, works. Yeah, some flavors work better. I think with Definitely. with that with the base sort of underlying base ingredients. Um, so yeah, so look out for that. Look, um, we'll see. Um, you know, within the next few days, probably um, uh, on on that one. Um, we talked about Huel. Obviously, they introduced the, the two new hot and savory flavors. Uh, we talked about that previously. Um, any other new products that you're aware of? No, I mean besides the uh, the Wi-Fi limited edition that you mentioned. Uh, yeah. Currently, no. Uh, oh, yes, I was going to say the beaten ramen go comes in powder. Comes in powder form. By oh, the comes way, powder as well. Okay. But it's sold out. Oh, I see. So it's probably it's... gone now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, sorry. for I was going to say for our US uh, our US listeners, uh, we were talking about beaten ramen, this uh, company that does healthy instant ramen. But you know they usually come on the instant ramen pack so you know that you need to yeah. put it into the uh, into your pot cook it and then whatever and now what they, they're releasing is uh they call it beta ramen go and they're in pre-order so it's not fully available yet the first pre-order was sold out but they say i think it comes in a this kind of format oh uh, yeah where it's already like you know the noodles are going to be on the down you put water like a proper pot it. noodle exactly yeah. a pot noodle exactly exactly so yeah, if if you were, I mean, if you're interested or you follow them, uh, yeah, uh, they they release a new one, pre-orders. I think the second round is coming soon. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, if I'd you like, I'd take like it. to, tr- yeah, I'd like to try, I'd try that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to go to our main subject of the day, which is a trend that we've sort of spotted over the last few months and mm-hmm. uh, seems to be uh, increasing. And I touched on it earlier, and that is. Um, the targeting of gamers as the sort of the next market for complete nutrition and or meal replacement products. I say meal Mm -hmm. replacement products because actually I think of, of the two major ones that we're going to talk about today um, it's actually, and this is the weird thing, which I think is a bit odd that they're they're described, they describe themselves as meal replacement 
products mm. on on the back of the pack. So one is I'll just share my screen uh, here. So this is from my protein, uh, who kind of jumped. You can see this gaming nutrition. They even have uh, here. They've got um, you know a whole tab dedicated to just gaming. Yeah, I think and, they have their own website as well, teamcommand.co.uk maybe, but... Uh, I'll have to check that out. Um, teamcommand.com. So you've got, you've got yeah. nootropic tubs, energy mm -hmm. drinks, and meal replacement shakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and look, there you are. She's got her uh, Logitech um, mm -hmm. head, headset there, and she's drinking a can of uh, Command, which I threw into the, the, the mix. But we're talking, and not we're talking about energy drinks here or nootropics. We're talking meal replacement shakes, um, and here they've got two. So again, they're a, maybe a slightly younger audience um, than, and slightly different from your sort of, you know, your gym bunnies or your fitness kind of type people or your healthy eating type people. Uh, they're aiming it specifically at, a, I guess, arguably a bunch which are in, uh, uh, maybe has the stereotypical perception of being unhealthy when exactly. it comes to, to, to food. But looking at the flavors as well, they're, they're targeting that kind of, you know, slightly younger uh, generation. Yes. Uh, yeah, generational uh, demographic. So you've got chocolate chip and uh, cereal milk which mm -hmm. uh, I love because everybody likes to once they've had a, uh, a bowl of their favorite yes. sugary, sugary cereal, they like to drink the milk out. And I guess that's the flavor. So it's probably sort of a vanilla type flavor of mm -hmm. some like a sugary vanilla flavor uh, to it. So I ordered some, so they didn't send it to me. I ordered some and you could just, you can tell by the branding and the packaging uh, here. I just, uh, I just, Anyway, put me on there. Uh, you can tell on the branding here. Look, it's command. It's called command. It's called self revive there. And then you look as they've got this sort of eight bit style writing here, as though it's a you, you know your sort of your character's uh, health bar along along the bottom in a game or something like that. So all really kind of cleverly, you know, almost neon and uh, not neon, not most RGB kind of colors going on there. Um, yeah, uh, it very much, um, very much targeted, marketed at, at gamers. Um, the interesting thing here is so again on, you know, that, um, you know, it claims to d deliver all your sort of, you know, complete nutrition and all of that. Uh, and as I mentioned, I've, you know, I have tasted it. I'm, st I'm still writing my overall review, but taste wise, it's, um, tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but on the bottom here, uh, in terms of its recommendation of how it, how you should have it, it says sub. So just so you know that one serving is two hundred and thirty nine calories. Yes, we'll get to that. Back so that's going. not a full meal. That's mm -hmm. a light meal, if that, and or a snack in some cases. But yet on the back, it says substitute two of the main daily meals of an energy restricted diet to contribute to weight loss or one meal for maintenance weight after weight loss. Consume as part of a balance, a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle, maintaining an adequate daily fluid intake. So it's, it's a diet product. In it's, terms uh, that's of, definitely odd. Yeah. Um, it, it's sort of saying, Hey gamer, uh, you're obviously a bit overweight because you're sitting streaming for, you know, eight hours or whatever. Uh, here, here is a healthy way to lose some weight. We'll give you all your kind of your complete nutrition, everything. But um, I'm just sort of dubious about the amount of calories that you're, you're getting. Um, and the fact that it, they describe it as a, you know, replace two meals, like a slim, like a slim fast. Yeah, you know, or, yeah, or a diet right. drink. Mm -hmm. Replace two of your normal meals with this kind of diet, you know, this calorie restricted product, or whatever. Um, so it just it struck me as odd. So then I looked at the other um, company that we talked about. Uh, let me just uh, get up here. So this is Control. Control drink. Uh, oh my God, look at that! It couldn't be more gamery if you tried. Uh, it's got Phase Phase Clan there, who are a sort of a gamer squad. Uh, They've got all these um, uh, 
streamers esports streamers. stars and streamers i mean look here we are four times uh call of duty champ uh call of duty world champion five times call of duty champion and world champion um girl gamer extraordinaire esports host and personality so they they it's they've gone full on uh gaming mm. um and then they do you know flavors like cinnamon toast sample fruity flakes cocoa crunch birthday cake which i have ordered some birthday cake oh um so then i was looking at the ingredients again not the ingredients the um the makeup mm -hmm. it's a 280 calorie shake yeah well there's there's so again it's 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 that low calorie mm -hmm. product so uh Going back a little bit, uh, I think uh, even Soylent back in the day did try uh, getting some of these uh, gamer, uh, yeah. uh, you know, audience because in theory it's quite logical who eats unhealthy, yeah. who eats lazy, or who is thought to be lazy. Me, you know, is yeah. uh, you know who is sits on the desk. So gamers fit this yeah. your typical, uh, you know, um, for the, for this product, you know, you want yeah. a meal. They don't really care about what they eat, and they just want something that it will it's satisfy one, them. You know yeah, that it's often one don't of the eat. reasons. That's right. One of the reasons I I started uh, exploring and taking meal replacement products is, you know, uh, I was in a situation four or five years ago when I had the luxury that I could game and maybe stream for like eight hours straight nine hours i'm being modest actually sometimes it was longer than that but <laughs> than anyone but literally you know uh, an an eight to 12 hour session streaming and you get up and then you obviously you're going to miss miss a meal so then you're going to go you know snack and stuff like that mm -hmm. but things like i started off with things like huel and stuff like that were like perfect because it meant that i didn't have to worry about you know stopping to eat healthily and that kind mm -hmm. of a, because i could eat I could drink health, eat my food or drink my mm -hmm. food healthily and carry on uh, gaming. And it was ideal. So, and it fitted that lifestyle. And as you mentioned about Soylent, you know, why was Soylent created? It was created because of software engineers, you know, by exactly. a software engineer who sat at his desk, you know, 12 hours a day programming and stuff and wanted a, you know, the most sort of minimal, simple scientific way of getting the right nutrients in the in the most simplest form into his body exactly. and thus created uh soylent off the back of that so you you're absolutely right you can see that that match and it's mm -hmm. just a case of sort of the branding and the flavoring that that's needed. exactly so we uh so you know like they so you know we we talked about it like most of the users are or historically most of the users have been 24 to 40 so they're earning some money yeah. and and they're male and they have IT jobs. So as we said, that's where Soylent started and that's where a lot of the meal replacements started having success because they're these are people who will forget about their meals and they care about the numbers and they care about getting yeah. the right nutrition into the body. So in theory, gamers fit that that particular that, that you know that area quite well. Uh, a lot of the gamers, although not true, maybe even more is are males, they maybe have one meal a day and then they forget it, as you say. So you know, this way you can um, you can balance both. Where I think Soylent failed, and maybe other brands failed, is they didn't target gamers only. Yeah. And what these brands have come to do is they fully focus on gamers, which is a big trend. Like you know, you have I have a gaming keyboard. Yeah. Uh, this is a gaming headset. There's gaming chairs. There's gaming clothes even. So you know, all gaming branded. Yeah. It's exactly. It's very popular. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, these brands identified that. They said, okay, there's like, you know, this, there's this category that it should fit very well, but it's not been, it's not catching on. Why is it that? I think, and they said, and we think, we think it's because they're not actually fully going all in, which Soylent wasn't all in. So they created this brand like Control, yeah. went full in. It was actually created by the uh, co owner of Face Clan, which is yeah. the eSports organization yeah and what they've done is one is the branding as we showcase all rgb or colors or streamers cool pose uh yeah. they care a lot about how everything looks instagrammable big pictures or whatever yeah but the, the other key point that they did it was the flavors 
they don't care yeah. that much about nutrition no. and i will rip off their nutrition if i uh, later on maybe but they care about how they taste or how they sound like they taste birthday cake fruity flakes cinnamon cereal uh cocoa yeah. Cocoa Crunch or something that, like that. That sort are... of cinnamon cereal and stuff like that is because one thing gamers do sometimes is you, you literally mm-hmm. grab a bowl and, and, you know, no disrespect to our American cousins, but, you know, they'll be having their sugar, a lot more sugary cereals yes. and, or a greater selection of sugary cereals than we have here in the UK. Sugar, yeah. We have our fair share of big sugary cereals, but, mm-hmm. you know, it, your Captain Crunch or whatever it is in the U.S., uh, big giant bowls of it while you're gaming is a sort of a stereotype or you say or ordering a pizza or whatever and getting greasy fingers while you're playing FIFA 22 or whatever. Um, you can absolutely see uh, this. And as you say, um, the, the energy drink market, the gamer drink market, oh, where so they've well, been huge. able to take energy drinks, put a mark up on it, you know, uh, brand it all kind of super fancy, get your favorite your streamers or, or esports stars sponsoring it or, or, you know, drinking, drinking the stuff. And mm-hmm. um, so they've taken the lessons from that and then applied it to these uh, complete nutrition. But as I say, I mean, with, with this, I mean, I look at these ingredients because most, because I've, you know, probably like yourself, most of, most of the stuff that I review are by companies who started off as complete nutrition companies. Exactly. They didn't start off as whey protein suppliers to bodybuilders or diet drink suppliers to you know slim fast type stuff like that, which is what sort of my proteins background was. It was um, you know bodybuilders, athletes, all that kind of stuff that was aimed at. Whereas your Shul, your Jimmy Joy, your Mana were all created from the ground up to be complete nutrition nutrition. products yeah using natural ingredients all that kind of stuff so i've come to expect that uh and i get comments on my youtube video you know why do you you know drink this you know rubbish and all this kind of Mm -hmm. stuff it can't be healthy for you and that's the great irony it's like it's there's there's, they're all natural ingredients Mm -hmm. you know we've talked about how the european uh sort of food agency have their nutri score and yes. you know you, you get a bag of it's not just a satura or whatever and it scores a and then nearly every complete nutrition product you'll get will score a because they're designed specifically to do that and and to use natural ingredients where they can but when mm. i look at this you know you've got uh, whey protein concentrate and then you've got emulsifiers uh mm-hmm. soy lechin and then you've got fortified wheat flour um Vegetable mm-hmm. shortening. Very processed uh, ingredients. Yeah. yeah, really, really processed compared to – and that's – I think, that you know, maybe that's just a product of my protein generally. I don't know. Um, I mean, as I that, said in my review, and I quote, I'll quote the title, is break from the outside, crap from the inside. Yeah. That's what this – at least, I mean, coming from the purist, I mean, this yeah. product, obviously, maybe there might be a step up from, you know, eating fruity cereals. Yeah, I mean, I think, it, I think it, you're right. I mean, I think – hey, look. You know, even look at the control product here. Um, you know, you'll get it, it's two hundred and eighty calories a game. I don't know why they're you know they're sort they of said, aiming at that level. There's but a you're little trick there. They say two plus milk, vitamins. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go well, to you the, think uh, you think add milk, yeah, they're yeah, they, saying a, a drink will I see, so that increases it. Yeah, to 400 calories. Yes, exactly. So at least in the control drink is 280 per serving if you have water. And then they might give you a recommendation to add yeah. milk. So oh, I see. Yes. Oh, there we are. Calories. Yes, you're right. That's interesting. 400 with milk. So if you have the control, you see here. They might yes, not even it, give That's that. why my protein yeah. and, and the fact that it's got this replace your meals like you're mm-hmm. doing you know, some sort of slim fast routine, replace two ordinary meals, which seems really old fashioned to me. Yes, but here it does. just says water. So you're right. Interesting enough, the control um, says it gives you the option, 280 calories with water and 400 with milk. So your 400 would give sort of give you a, a, you know, a breakfast or a lunch meal, I would say. So, um, but it's 22 plus vitamins. So it's not 28, which is what we tend to see. Yeah. 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 
here comes uh here comes the uh, like the, here comes the nutritional and i'm not expert but you know i tend to look yeah. more at the nutrition angle in many things and here comes the not the catch but if you've been around the gaming situation or any gaming product you're you're to spec a premium you're paying a premium even the yeah. premium, like the headset the keyboard that i showed yeah. on the chairs just because they're tech gaming yeah. they always tag at a premium they know that you're gonna pay for that premium and a lot of these brands are 80 percent marketing 20 percent and i'm i'm being low like maybe 90 95 percent yeah. marketing and for example when you go to uh when you go to the control drink it's 280 calories with uh 280 calories without milk 400 calories with milk and they said well, you know they say oh it's three three dollars per meal or something like that and you know that is more expensive than what you get from Huel. That's more yeah. expensive than what you get from, anyways. And they still like omega threes. Like they don't look, as yeah. you said, they don't look at every single ingredient. So they like in omega threes. They might be high in sugar. Uh, they have very processed ingredients. And the problem with processed ingredients is that the least natural the product is, the least like extra phyto phyt- phyt- nutrients you might have. The least you know antioxidants or anti-inflammatory agents. And at least extra stuff that when you consume real world food has. So you basically are getting like the most refined uh, aspects and the lowest quality of nutrition. And nutritionally, those products are very, like built very cheap. They might like some key ingredients, and uh, and they're they're overpriced. In my opinion, they're overpriced for what you get. And uh, in from and I haven't tried it. I know Johnny tried them, and Johnny said they were really sweet control he found yeah control i sweet. can imagine i can imagine they're it's sweet because that's what game is like well they think that's what game is like yeah so i would say if you think that's what you like and if you like if you hate food and you really like really sweet stuff and taste is your primary thing yeah maybe he will be too pure too earthy for yeah. you and maybe some of the other drinks will be too pure for you but if you want to eat something really like that really is going to make a difference in your health, I'll, I'll look at proper meal replacements and I'll avoid this. Yeah, I, I, I would. I mean, that's my thing, you know, so this is what, you know, I'm surprised that they are marketing this as, as, as I say, like a calorie, uh, a calorie meal, you know, re- mm. replace your ordinary meal with this sort of diet, res- this calorie restricted one um, where you're, you're much better off. I mean, I think it's far if you're trying to lose weight or whatever, you know, exercise is probably more important than the food or whatever arguably but i'm not a dietitian or expert like that Mm -hmm. but i would i would i would much prefer i think i'd much recommend i'd much more recommend as you say have have a have a Y food exactly you you know i mean despite what i said about the milk content you know to Mm -hmm. the sugar like if you look at the ingredients here you, you know, there's none of that emulsifier type stuff here, or if it is, it's right at the end, you know, kind of really tiny amounts. Uh, yeah, but there's no like this. weight with 45. I mean, yeah, there's uh, you'll see like some of the ingredients are more pure, but I mean, yeah. again, like you got a better hit of quantity, you get a, mm-hmm. you, you're getting your 26 and, and you're seven your omega vitamins threes, and minerals, which other people don't yeah, give you, you as well, which are very, very important, yes. exactly. So, um, you know, any other product. You know, which I would highly, because as I say, that's, as I mentioned earlier, that's how I got into it. Well, one of the reasons was just, you know, the sheer convenience. And I was very conscious. I was whiling away many, many hours, whether just streaming or gaming on my own, whatever. Uh And this was a great way to make sure, as you say, scientifically almost, to get my nutrients in. So I would much, you know, in a way prefer um, that they, you know, they just repackaged stuff that we you know proper complete nutrition um, i get it but the focus is on the taste and making it taste yeah. make it, it needs to sound good and taste like yeah. t- taste good i mean taste good it needs to like in the first sip it needs to taste good and probably in the first sip it's very sweet very yeah. easy to like i might get sickly afterwards but i mean and i think I someone might... like y food like i said like they like i said about mm-hmm. this that you know they marked this i think when it was cookies and cream in germany they marked it to gamers and, and they do and have a focus on germany you know and i could yeah. see uh you know that and it's interesting enough because it's not this these two you know they obviously created products and and branded them but from an advertising point of view i noticed because i knew we were potentially going to be talking about this but um i saw a huel youtube ad 
Mm-hmm. Normally, it's some sort of YouTubery type character going. I decided this year I'm going to try and you know look after my health, and so I'm going to be taking this fuel and savory. All you need to do, and blah blah blah. You know, like they're making a YouTube video. Yeah. But I saw I saw one of those type of videos, and he says, uh, "I want to make sure I'm you know I'm opt you know I'm at my optimal best when I'm gaming and all that kind of stuff." And that's what he talked. So he talked about gaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and taking his and have so I have mac and cheese whatever, so I thought okay now so Huel are now are targeting gamers in their marketing and I tell you if you're a gamer, uh, mac and cheese is great. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. it's great Being taste. Rustled, yeah. uh, you know it's yeah. So um, I th- I think I can see other companies. Uh, so the, the the sort of complete nutrition companies mm-hmm. that we all sort of know and regularly use, uh, targeting gamers uh, a bit more, especially if they see the success of uh, stuff like uh, Control mm-hmm. or, or you know My Protein's Command or. or I whatever. think uh, Hugh has a deal with a company, a UK com- marketing company called Fluid, and I think they're trying to do deals with non Twitch streamers like Amaranth. Uh, she's a huge streamer, and there's other other streamers that they have in the payroll and more gaming things. Yeah. It's, just, it's just when you think about it, it's hard. Influences, because when yeah. You, yeah, influences. When you, when you, because when you click in the product, you go to the Hue website, which is a very, uh, comp- you know, very company, very black and white, very mature look on the thing. Whereas like, when you go into the other ones, it's like more what you're used to. It's more to the forums that you're used to. You know, all this command, control, drink, they have yeah. websites that they're more friendly sure. to the younger generations maybe they're more mobile friendly oh okay yeah exactly yeah buzzing to show you our new sponsor supporting my stream they're get, so they're making, yeah. making a big push they're, so they are targeting streamers as we you know as predicted can't wait to show you more of them in the coming weeks hashtag ad that, mm-hmm. and that's it, by natinator nightinator as i said though the problem is once you go you go here and this doesn't look very game right this doesn't this looks too no Co- corporate for them whereas the other ones i bet they have better conversion because yeah. they're more like they're more like themselves like you know like that might yeah. be like a bit older person like particularly t- yeah exactly younger people look at those colors yeah colors wearing the and then putting it the putting game. it next to the you know the fact they put it with the nootropics mm-hmm. uh and then the energy drinks I and, think and then it also has an advantage on that because yeah, white has a more colorful website yeah. and a more uh, playful website so i think they could do better and I know there's another co- German company called Runtime GG. They also do uh, focus solely on gamers, but yeah, I, I guess I do. I do see why White Foot could do it slightly better. Like more colors, it's not as corporate. I mean, it still is changed, but yeah, I think um, I think they could do, and I think the mar- this audience is right for meal replacements. It's just I think it's hard to tackle or be successful at both. It's hard to yeah. give the mature look in one end and then give yeah. the cool gamer uh, by uh, yeah i think i think what, yeah twitter uh, and instagram or yeah. aspects yeah i think that's what you you know huel and these will do they'll they'll sponsor mm-hmm. you know as, as you say sponsor influencers streamers and and gamers and like that because but i mean because i think if you are the thing about because it was interesting because there was an article on the bbc news website about um you know streamers and the amount of time they stream in one session you know, and arguably it's quite unhealthy and Twitch, uh, you know, Twitch, for instance, should should sort of, you know, restrict the amount of time you can actually stream in any one session. So, um, you know, this it, it, sites like Twitch where you do, you know, people, well, when people stream games, they are streaming them in like eight hour sessions. And, and as I said before, like we said about the IT people and the creation of soil and whatever, it, it if you want to sort of stay healthy and stream you know eight hours at a time or whatever then complete nutrition products are a great a great way of of achieving that and it's sort of one of the reasons i started doing it in the first place so i can see it coming full circle and i'm glad now because my youtube channel is a combination mm. of gaming and meal replacements so that venn Perfect. diagram it's that sense a bit in the middle where they meet is sort of uh, growing larger as, as they sort of uh, converge, <laughs> my two subject, my two hobbies. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I uh, it's something that's going to come back, and uh, we'll see what the success they have, and uh, yeah, hopefully it improves and it brings more people. Because ultimately, what we want is to bring more people to this. It's not a new lifestyle, but you know, just yeah. being aware that you have this option. You know, just being aware that you know, if you don't have the time, you don't need to have a subway, or you don't need yeah. to have a, a donut, or you don't need yeah. to have something healthy. You can have an option for a healthy quick meal which is usually what complete food is about and it's that that's exactly so you know people say oh you're much healthier eating you know uh, avocados and quinoa and preparing with lettuce and whatever you know and you know what yeah you're probably right but as an alternative to as you say you know getting a, a a food delivery uh, because you can't be bothered to cook you know grabbing a Mackie D's we've all or, been, or we've even all getting here. you know yeah, like a uh, a meal deal from the mm-hmm. corner shop uh, every every single day and grabbing a fizzy drink with it and all that kind of stuff. If that's what you're replacing, then, you know, the complete nutrition products that we talk about are a thousand times better for you uh, without a question of a doubt. You know, okay. yes, the optimal way is to have your own personal chef and dietitian who <laughs> lives in your house with you and prepares everything in the right proportions perfectly. That ain't happening for 99.99999% of all human beings, you mm-hmm. know. So uh, complete nutrition products kind of do it for you and you don't have to yeah. worry. It's not about, you know, I saw something on the on the uh, Huel read it and somebody says has anybody tried living off hot and savory you know permanently mm-hmm. i don't think and she'll she will never claim have you know that's no, not they what they're about to, but, you know in, no. in the years ago when it first all started you know people go i lived on fuel for uh, 30 days and it's like mm-hmm. yeah it was never you could do it but it's it was never marketed as oh, such, something yeah, to sure. replace all your food <laughs> It was just like if you just, you know, some food because you can't prepare properly or, you know, or you're rushing or you've missed out meals or whatever because you can't be bothered to stop to, to get one. Um, have, you know, re- like I've most of the last five years, I've replaced my lunch with a complete mm-hmm. nutrition product of some sort, sometimes breakfast, sometimes lunch. Um, but then I'll I enjoy, do- you know. A, 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 a nice meal in the evening sometimes i'll have complete nutrition products all through the day because i've got a, such a good selection yeah um, you do, I, I feel like experimenting but generally mm-hmm. in the evening i will be cooking a you know a conventional meal and not really caring too much what's what's in it other than mm-hmm. your general kind of healthiness but um but I just, yeah it's just, just funny either that replace a uh... breakfast or replace a lunch they're perfect it's just funny that we're so used to like be like oh, whatever I'll have this I'll grab this Greg or I'll have this I'll have I grab this sandwich in Seven Eleven or you know I grab you know this take this donut on Dunkin' Donut or whatever or even like you know I, I do it and why not like I'll grab this frozen lasagna so I can have it in the freezer and whenever I want it I, I'll bring my frozen lasagna and I have a frozen lasagna for good why not like you know you know it's not the yeah. healthiest meal ever but you have it so yeah, why are we so used to that but yeah. we know used to the idea that we can replace a meal with uh and it doesn't need to be always with another yeah. alternative quick unhealthy so yeah, yeah absolutely well there we go so there you are you heard it from us there gamers uh, <laughs> uh we highly recommend complete nutrition products if you're a gamer or streamer but go for the i arguably the traditional you know the uh, the complete nutrition products rather than ones that have been dressed up a bit fancy um, although they taste really, really nice, um, I think there are better products out there for you that you can go. It just doesn't look like it's um, covered in RGB. Yeah, maybe we lighting. can cover clearly, but Team Command is only available in the UK, UK whereas uh, Control yeah. Drink is available in the UK, I mean, in the US and Europe, uh, uh, in the UK, if you want it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I will be I'll be doing a full review of this later and I've got some control coming as well and I'll be doing a review probably won't be doing a review of the energy drink um, but there you go um, so well there we go I think we've we've uh, um, had a good look at the old, uh, yeah yeah gaming and and all of that 
Um, so there you go. I think we're going to call that one a show. Um, it's been a good, a good conversation, a good chat. I hope you found that interesting. Yes. Uh, if you did and you're watching on the YouTube, then uh, make sure you put some comments down below and we'll try to respond where we can. And, uh, and if you're listening on any of the podcasts, then thank you very much. Uh, you thank can you. find us on all your popular podcast uh, platforms and, of course, on the YouTube channel um, uh, here. And uh, you can find any and his many reviews at www.latestfuels.com. As you can see, he's been scrolling along uh, the bottom uh, there. So uh, there we go and call it a day. Thank you for watching. Any any much. last words? No, thank you. I will see you soon. I hope this was insightful and yeah, let's let's bring it on. Let's on to the next one. All right. Thank you everybody and goodbye. Thank you.